I have been on a wild goose chase. This was just meant to be a good video to show you how I recreated my vocal chain. And then I thought, let me start actually recreating one of these plugins. And then I failed. And then I found the pattern. And then three days, four prototypes later, I built something that sort of resembles it. But it was a good learning journey because it made me rethink how to push boundaries when mixing. But you're probably asking, what plugin led me down this chain? And it was actually the Aphex Aural Exciter. Now, you either love or hate this plugin, but stick with me because there's some great lessons to uncover and adapt from this plugin. It's described in Ethan Winder's The Audio Expert as a first order five kilohertz high pass filter going into a harmonic generator. And I did that, and how do you think it sounded? I did that and it sounds nothing like the original. So what's actually going on? Let's have a look at this plot. So actually looking at this, we can see that there's multiple filters that are being used here to feed that exciter because I've just got the exciter module being monitored here. Harmonically though, harmonics are being introduced from down, look at this, harmonics are produ produced at around 150, 200 hertz even though in the linear analysis, it completely cuts off below 500 on that exciter module, which is very interesting. So with some research, I found the US patent 4150253, and that was granted on April 17, 1979, and realized that what's happening here is not all that meets the eye. Whilst the patent lays out the fundamentals in figure one with a parallel signal going through an exciter, there's some key information which hints at what makes this truly unique. That patent actually references in the background of its invention, patent number 2866849, which describes an exciter type model which uses two parallel paths, one with a three kilohertz high pass filter into a harmonic producer and a parallel six kilohertz high pass filter, which are then summed together which makes the exciter component. And that's further expanded on in the pattern claims for using multiple filters in the exciter's circuit design. And that's important to note here, a standard EQ will process audio filters in a string of series. However, if we reference figure three of the pattern, which lays out the schematic for the exciter module, inside the signal chain, we can see there are four filter circuits, all performing various functions in parallel with one another, connected to six triodes. Then each of those filters also pass various phase shifting circuits, which are detailed in these graphs and the maximum phase shift and attenuation rate. So to most engineers, even myself, there was a lot to digest there, but we can see this tool just doesn't add harmonics. It's doing so by way of a series of parallel frequency filters that also rotate the phase, which then the harmonics are added to. That's wild. So you've got all these multiple filters all working together. So with this information, I built my first prototype using exactly what was specified in that pattern, both a one kilohertz and four kilohertz parallel filter in the exciter module. The one kilohertz tone feeds a harmonic generator using 12 decibel per octave filter curves. And this is what it came out like. Okay, so this is the one kilohertz and four kilohertz parallel filters. So here we can see I've got the four kilohertz one here and the one kilohertz one here getting fed into a uh, harmonic generator. Um, and this is what the curve ended up looking like. The phase shift was slightly different to what they've actually done on the waves version because the waves filters are actually higher up. So it's not actually as to that original pattern. It's designed slightly differently. Um, but we can see we've got that 180 degree rotation here. We've got the two filters here, which are in parallel, which causes that sort of shape in the frequency response. But what is important is that if these EQs aren't in series, they're in parallel. So then I actually realized I had to build this slightly differently. And what I ended up finding was the filters on the AFX or Exciter with waves are actually to match them up, especially with the phase rotation at 180 degrees and the overall frequency shape was actually at three kilohertz and 13 kilohertz, those filters were. So if I look here, that's at 13 and the one feeding the exciter is actually at two kilohertz, sorry. So two kilohertz and 13 kilohertz. Now let's have a listen to how this one sounded. they're actually pretty close. That was a pretty good build because both the frequency plot, those two parallel filters, the phase rotation and my harmonics 
lined up much better. If I just go back a little bit here and I mute the Aphex, we can see those harmonics are pretty close. I'll mute this one. Slightly more richer in the top, but it's, it's much closer. One of the big lessons I took away from this was with parallel filters, a lot of people set up a parallel process for one sound result. Like they, they set up a parallel compression to get one desired result. This plugin uses multiple parallel filters in series in order to combine a certain goal. So having those different phase rotations, those different filters, exciting one filter and not the other, allows to build this really harmonically complex sound. So what we're going to do here on this next one is a little bit more unique because we're going to do a bandpass compressed with bandpass distorted slapback echo, they're both going to be in parallel and be in aid to help these vocals thicken out. I hope actually Pro Tools doesn't crash when I do this because I'm going to do this all in meta plugin and see if we can get it feeling good. This is just a theory I wrote down. I'm like, oh, let's just, let's just uh, try do this. So we'll go factory there. So what are we doing? We are bandpass compressed. Okay, so I'm going to just add, I like having channel mixes at the start so I can change my gain stage. So that's going to be there. What else are we going to use? We're going to use Pro Q3. We'll get two of them because we're going to do two band pass. Actually, one of the band passes to be the same. So let's just get this band pass first. Um, and then we can tweak the band part, the, where, where that EQ is later. But we just sort of want to get an idea of where it is. So let's get the vocals looping. All the days feel long. There's no way I'd go back Cause I gave it all Just to see the change Watch me break free from this Rainy day And I, I All the days feel long There's no way I'd go back Cause I gave it all Just to see the change Watch me break free from this Rainy Alright, I like that. Let's duplicate that, which I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two and one is going to be slightly lower than the other just because I can. So they're going to be two parallel filters. The one which I'm going to distort is going to be slightly, the one that I distort and slap back is going to be slightly high and the other one's going to be slightly lower, I think. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out. Let's um, take add another four channel mixer there. Cool, cool, cool. The reason why I like this is because then I can blend the two parallel filters with the little mixer knobs here. Let's go into the... Actually, that's going to go into a distortion unit. So I'll go there. And we'll add... I think Neutron's actually a really good harmonic exciter. Uh, where are we? There we are. Put that there. Put that into the Neutron exciter. We'll put that in Bypass for now. Cool. All right, let's take a look at this second Pro Q3, and we'll just turn this one down. Let's have a listen. There's no way I'd go back, cause I gave it all, just to see the change. Watch me break free from this rainy day, and I, I, I never thought it would be. There's no way I'd go back, cause I gave it all, just to see the change. Watch me break free from this rainy day, and I, I, I never thought it would be. There's no way I'd go back, cause I gave it all, just to see the change. Watch me break free from this rainy day, and I, I, I never thought there's no way I'd go back, cause I gave it all, just to see the change, watch me break free from this rainy day, and I, I, I never thought it would be, there's no way I'd go back, cause I gave it all, just to see the change, watch me break. Alright, I like that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a delay here to it. So let's go Echo Boy. There we are. Actually, just use Junior because I can. Just quicker to get to a slap back without all the extra. Let's use Echo Boy. Oh, fuck. I have no clue what I'm doing on Echo Boy. I thought it'd be quicker, but there's just as many options here. So I'm going to just use Echo Boy because I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to be smart. 
So let's get Echo Boy. Uh, let's think of how we're going to do this. Bring that there. Bring that there. All right. Uh, Neutron Exciter. Exciter. Echo Boy. Oh, we're going to get this slapping. One thing, which I think is a little bit unorthodox, but I'm going to cross patch that low filter into the slap back without any distortion. And only the top one's going to have distortion. Let's see how that plays out. Oh, that's actually the top one going in there, I'm pretty sure. No, no, that's the lower one. Cool. All right, let's have a listen to this in the mix because this is a pretty wild sort of routing, but I really wanted this quirky sort of slapback. So let's see how it sounds. Welcome, cause I'm making my way and I know that all of the days feel long. There's no way I go back cause I gave it all just to see the change. Watch me break free. The stars and you crash through the waves and I'm trying hard to make it Don't know if I'll make it Speak a little louder You're drowning in the sound of it all I made up my mind a long time ago I said it for less and I get a sick oh yeah I'm here for it Yeah I'm here for it And not even the rain could keep me away I struggle for less and there's more here to gain Yeah I'm done that was sick. That was really cool. Really, 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 really cool, that effect. Take a listen to that again, with and without on the vocals. Ordinary, and I know my time will come Cause I'm making my way and I know All of the days feel long There's no way I'd go back Cause I gave it all just to see the change Watch me break free from See? It's just cool things. You just learn this stuff. Like as in, how do I put it? That's just a, oh, fuck, I want to just, that is a cool, that is a cool, that is a cool, that, that, that is fucking good. I like that. I like that. I'm going to leave that in the description below. If you've got Meta plugin and and um, these tools, you can, you can download it, I guess, or just copy what I did. That is cool. So with that, um, there's some other videos you can watch where I'm going over other cool technical stuff. Click on one of them here or down in the description. And until next time, take care.